Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. Today on the Van Kooks channel, we are going to be talking about power and why every van lifer probably needs a power station. Today we're going to be reviewing the Rock Pals PS500 and the 100 watt solar panel that comes with it. We are also going to be stacking it up against competitors, seeing where it fits within the prices, and also we are going to be talking about the pros and cons, the things that we like about it and the things that we don't like about it. So let's get into it. We've been doing van life for almost five years now and we've never thought that we needed a power pack like maybe in Australia when we didn't really have good power going on or New Zealand but we actually won this Jackery at a van life meetup and we've since graduated from this Jackery because we use it so much that we kind of like it only has one plug it only has two USBs this thing takes forever to charge like seriously eight hours all day we needed something a little faster to charge and both of us use our computers all the time especially with both of us going back to school now during covid we have since upgraded to the rock pals 500 watt what we really like about this is that it has two inputs so you can have the input coming from the solar or the um, 110 power and then this is also an Anderson plug where uh, power can also be put into. We don't really use these two DC outs, but I mean, that's cool, I guess. If, it ever, if we ever need it, we have it. And then there's also this 12 volt, which is awesome. The thing that we really like about this thing is that it has the quick charging USB. And also this charges my MacBook Pro. So without having to turn on the AC outlets. It also has two... 500 watt AC outlets, which is great for both of us charging our computers at the same time. Kevin and I really like to try a lot of the off brands and keep things very uh, affordable to pass on to you all because we like affordable too. So we really went with this one because it is one of the cheaper ones on the market and we wanted to test it out. We've been testing it out for over a month now so we could give you guys a pretty good feedback on it. Since I overviewed most of the features of this, Kevin is going to get into the competition. Now it's time to see how the Rock Pal stacks up against the competition. The first victim on the list is the Jackery 500. All these batteries are lithium ion and they all use a pure sign inverter. So we're just gonna get that off right off the bat. The Jackery is 518 watt hours, which is very equivalent to this one at 505. It has one AC outlet. So we needed two because we run two computers and I mean, we just use a lot of power and one AC outlet is not enough. It has three USB outlets and it takes 7.5 to nine hours to charge. These Jackery's take so long to charge. Like I can't believe Jackery has not figured this out. These batteries, if you have to charge your battery for nine hours, you can only use it at night, it's crazy. So the Jackery comes in, it's $499. If you want the Solar Saga 100 watt from Jackery, the uh, solar panel, that's at 299. So that whole package together from Jackery is 799. So I'm gonna show that figure here and just remember that. So next on the chopping block is the EcoFlow River Max. These units actually look really cool. They claim that they can charge in 1.6 hours or three to six hours with the solar panel, but they're saying that in order to get the three to six hours on the solar panel, you need to have two of their 100 watt solar panels. So that's gonna add to the price. Let's get into some of the features. It's 576 watt hours, which is a little bit more than our Rock Pals. It has three 600 watt AC outlets, which is pretty cool to have three outlets on a, you know, a almost 600 watt hour battery bank. I really like that. It has two USB and one USB 3.0, which is the high speed plus the USB-C. USB-C is kind of seems like where we're going in the future with USB. So having the USB-C is like if you have iPhones or you have iMacs or I don't know, it's just a way faster charge and Jackery doesn't even include USB-C. So I don't understand how Jackery has so much clout and popularity. Their units seem like they're outdated almost. 
So with that, it has the two five millimeter DC ports, just like the Rock Pals. Uh, those aren't really used much by us, but maybe in your application, you'd like it. And it has the 12 volt and it also has a light. So you have a little light on the unit and it can light up the sky. The downfall of the EcoFlow is it is about $599 for the battery. And then the solar panels are $110, but in order to get the fast charge, you need two solar panels. So those come in at $299 each. So if you got two solar panels and the uh, EcoFlow River Max, you would be at $1,197, which is, that's a lot of money for a battery bank. Like you might as well just build your own battery bank and put a solar panel on your van. But if you just got one solar panel, it's 898. So a little bit more than the Jackery, but it charges literally three times faster. I would love to get my hands on one of these Eco River Max and really see if that 1.6 hour charge off the AC is true. Now we're gonna get into the Rock Pals. And this is like really why we went with the Rock Pals. Right now, the Rock Pals is retailing for $429 on their website with a $50 discount. That comes out to $379. That is so much cheaper than the, than the Jackery and the Eco River. So right now, you're getting a great savings off the Rock Pal. It has a 505 watt hour capacity. It takes about seven to eight hours to charge, but it does charge seven to eight hours off the solar panel, the 100 watt solar panel. Like Danny mentioned earlier, it has two AC ports, two USB, USB 3.0, a USB-C, a 12 volt, and then those uh, five millimeter 12 volt outlets. Like I said, I don't really use those, but maybe you would. And it can get a 70 watt solar input off of the 100 watt panel so like i said we've been able to charge that so if you got the solar panel with the battery you're looking at 558 dollars that is a huge discount i'll show all the numbers here the jackery comes in 799 the eco river at 899 if you want the two panels it's even more but the rock pals is 558 and we're really enjoying this unit um, I think, like Danny said, we like to discover the off-brands, and it's a great unit. And now we're going to get into why these portable power stations are so good for um, camping, road trips, and even van life. Like, this thing's been saving our butts. So let's get into those reasons, and then we're going to get into some pros and cons. Like I had mentioned before, our whole journey with these power packs started with a Jackery that we won. And we have just graduated from this because all we used to do was Kevin used to edit videos and maybe use this to recharge his computer. This is the Jackery 240. So it kind of is a little out of place with all the competitors and stuff, but we just graduated from this. We both go to school now, so we both need to charge our computers and have them charge. This thing, this Jackery, it works for about one charge if you are using your computer at the same time as depleting the battery. If your computer is closed, maybe you could get one or two charges out of it, but it just wasn't enough for both of us to be on our computers as much as we are trying to stay connected with all of our schoolwork. It also does take eight whole hours in the sun to charge, and that's just kind of ridiculous for the amount of charges that I just told you about. And you can basically only really use it at night then, you know, if you're trying to charge it during the day. So we looked up all of the competitors when we knew we had to upgrade and we went with the Rock Pals because like Kevin said, it was way cheaper. This thing charges in eight hours, just like the Jackery, but it is a significantly bigger battery pack. So it is worth it for eight hours of charge to get four laptop charges out of this. Also, one of the things that was kind of unexpected with this thing, and it was perfect timing that we got one of these, is our batteries are kind of on the fritz right now. We've been in this van for quite some time, so they are dying. And this, we plug in the fridge at night to put less strain on our batteries, and we let the fridge charge by the solar panel during the day. And this, during the day, we will also charge with the 100 watt solar panel that comes with it. We find ourselves using this so often. We use it for our little portable AC unit. We use it for our fridge, like I said. We use it to charge our laptops, our iPads, 
our phones, anything that needs to be charged, we like to use this thing. Like I said, the Jackery did introduce us into these power packs and we never knew how much we would use them until we owned one. We use this thing all the time. It has really been a lifesaver and it's really nice to just get out of your van and go to a table outside, like at Lake Tahoe is where we're at right now. So we work a lot from these benches that have a beautiful view of Tahoe and we can bring our power along with us. So with this thing, we don't really have to be confined to the van. We can, ex we can enjoy our surroundings and work outside and still be productive without being next to one of our plugs. And we've never ever had to take this to a library and charge it. The 100 watt solar panel is very efficient. It's actually really surprising. So the solar panel that comes with this is $179 like Kevin had mentioned. And it's really awesome because it doesn't only charge the Rock Pals. A lot of these solar panels that come with the Gold Zero and come with the Jackery, they kind of have this proprietary plug, but this, gives you all the proprietary plugs to adapt to any charger. So even if you just get the solar panel, you can charge whatever you're currently kicking right now. And the solar panel is so convenient. We've had a couple others and we've kind of just returned them, but um, this one is so convenient because it folds up, it fits right behind our driver's seat and it doesn't really take up too much space. So that is one of our favorite things about it is that it's a hundred watt solar panel that folds up and is very discreet. So really quickly, we're going to get into some pros and cons of this uh, Rock Pals power pack. Number one, it's fairly lightweight. It's very convenient just to take outside and use it like Danny was saying. A few of the downfalls are, are the buttons are kind of weird. So you got to like hold down some of these power buttons and like the USB button, like you kind of just like it's very temperamental. You just touch these but then on the AC, you gotta hold it down for like four seconds. So like all the buttons kind of have like a different cadence and they all work a little bit differently. That was kind of weird getting used to. And the major, major, major downfall of this unit is you cannot charge AC outlets while you're getting solar or any charge input. We do recommend this unit for the price and with the solar panel, you can't really beat it, but just note that you cannot charge any, you cannot use these AC outlets if you're getting DC or any input, like if you're charging off the wall or your car, it's not gonna work. So just know that. So the cool thing that is the saving grace of this unit is the MacBook Pros now run off USB-C. You can charge USB-C and 12 volt. The DC while you have an input, just the AC won't work. So if you have like a MacBook Pro and you want to run it off USB-C, it'll, you can charge the battery and charge your computer there. But if you want to use AC, you're basically out of luck. So that's all we got for you kooks today. The Rock Pals PS500. It's a really legit unit for the price with the one limitation. You can't charge AC outlets while charging the unit. So I think that's it. I think we covered everything. Thank you so much for watching guys. Like and subscribe. And if you're enjoying our content, please share it with your friends, your relatives, your Facebook community. Sharing is caring and all you gotta do is click that button and it's over. So thank you so much. Um, we should have a Van Kooks discount coming soon through Rock Pal, so check the description for that. And like and subscribe once again. And we will see you guys soon. We got more stuff to review this summer, so we'll be back.